Chris, what do you think the business model is for taking action on, action on climate change? For a company like BT, obviously it becomes increasingly crucial to take action. And what, what, what's the business model? I think there's a hearts and a minds answer to your question. So the minds piece is very much around what's going to be the price of oil in the future and it's going to go up again. What's the legislation going to be in the future? And we're already seeing the government in the UK introducing something called the Carbon Reduction Commitment, which will impact BT in a big way, it will impact a lot of the NHS in a big way, where organisations will have to buy the right to consume energy. That energy, every time you can save energy or you can prevent going on an unnecessary travel, you're saving money for the organisation. And every big organisation in BT, I'm sure in the NHS, money is being wasted on unnecessary consumption of resources. So there is a leadership role to play here in terms of associating the cost of running the organisation with climate change and driving energy and travel efficiency. And do you think that you're, the people you talk to have grasped the need to do this now? Is there a sense of urgency or is it very much business as usual? It's tough economic times at the moment uh, and you know, there's a lack of, of um, cash to invest. But actually what we've discovered is that you don't need always cash to invest. You know, there is still what they call low hanging fruit. Uh, there's even fruit on the ground we've discovered you know, that you really don't need money to invest, that people, you can go along and find ways, easy ways of, of, of um, saving energy. And we've discovered equipment that's been left on in BT because it was no one's job to ever turn it off. I'm sure there must be similar things in the NHS. But that's the minds bit, the hearts bit is, is actually our employees want us to do this. They want us to take action. It increases employee motivation when they see that, that we're doing it. So it's a top-down, bottom-up thing. Top-down because leadership is so incredibly important. But if people feel empowered to make a difference, whatever they do in the organisation, then that is also going to deliver energy efficiency, but employee motivation at the same time. Franny, let me ask you if I may to give a quick synopsis, if mm -hmm. you can, of your marvellous film. I can. I think I've done it a couple of times before. <laughs> I think I can do it. Basically, it's set in 2055, and uh, when the world has been uh, devastated by runaway climate change, and Pete Postlethwaite, everybody's favourite actor, uh, plays a survivor, and what he's doing is he's looking back at old footage of us now, and he's trying to work out why we didn't stop climate change when we had the chance. And from the feedback you've received in talking about the film, how do you think people have, 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 have taken it? How, what's been the response? Well, uh, their response, I mean, you know, most people cry and stuff like that, of course. But uh, no, we, we get loads of emails all the time for everybody. Like, I'm, I've turned into a campaigner. I've changed my job. I'm putting solar panels on my house. I'm, you know, I'm never flying again. That's a very common one. And so on and so forth. And so, um, you know, we started getting all that. And then we realised that we really have quite a powerful thing here in our hands. And, uh, you know, the film belongs to us. We can do whatever we want, like make these great uh, deals um, so the NHS can screen. Because the film doesn't belong to the BBC or the Channel 4 or somebody like that. It belongs to us. Um, so we're doing all these different deals. But then we, we basically joined up with uh, Greenpeace, Stop Climate Chaos, uh, WWF, all the big climate charities uh, to make a new campaign called Not Stupid. Uh, and the aim is to reach 250 million viewers all around the world before Copenhagen and then get all of those people inspired and motivated and pressurising their governments to make the right deal at Copenhagen. So the millions of NHS employees who might watch this film is a good, good uh, contribution to that? Absolutely it is, yes, and join Not Stupid and, uh, you know, and uh, join the effort to, um, to get the right deal at Copenhagen. 